Hi friends. I just wanted to do a video. Um, I haven't done one of these for a while and just organize my thoughts. I made a big decision recently. I decided that I'm going to take indefinite leave from my uni degree of applied maths. This is a decision that I feel like I wanted to make for a really long time, but I suppose I never even gave myself the possibility of even considering it. I think when I was in high school, I was so excited to leave and go to university and have some agency in what I studied. And I think that blinded me to what the actual experience of it was. When I got to university, I was fairly blasé about it. I did the maybe typical thing, um, partied a lot, um, didn't really pay attention to my studies. I don't know if that's typical, but it, I saw it happening a lot. And I bombed out in my first attempted degree. And that really took a toll on my sense of identity. Throughout high school, I really prided myself on, on my good grades, on how much I enjoyed the things that I was learning, and I really liked how good I was at them, to be honest. And to have gotten to <laughs> my lab, it's just done that. Um, and to get to university and have all of that come crashing down on me was really rough. Um, yeah, it really crumbled the bedrock of what my what I considered to be my personality. And it took a, a while, I think, and I, I, I still feel like I am processing it still, to, to rebuild that and to not base it off of measures of like grades and how well I'm performing at, at school or whatever it is. But after I did, you know, get bad grades and bum out, I re-enrolled in at a different university doing a, a slightly different degree. And things seemed to be a little bit different. I um, was doing reasonably well for a while and then life interfered and I did poorly again and then I redoubled and I did well again and then I did shit again and then just just on and on and I think what I noticed now is that I think I was really trying to cling to this idea of I'm Harley, I'm the, I'm the maths guy, I'm the academic kind of person and, and, and that's who I am and I don't think that that's me anymore. I was sitting down the other day to force myself to do some uni work because I've just been putting it off for weeks really and I'd sat myself down in front of my desk and I was just looking at my screen and I just felt miserable. I just didn't know what it was. And I take the opinion that our emotions are just trying to look out for us. They have our best interests at heart. And so I, and I say that to people, and as I sat there, I decided, okay, it's time to practice what I preach. And I just sat there and I asked that emotion, why, wh what is this? What is the signal? Why am I miserable, miserable going to sit down to do some work? And when I even just realized that I was miserable at the prospect of doing that uni work, I was just like, 
what why am I doing it then you, you know like if I'm if I was going to be studying that degree doing taking that subject then stands to reason that I'd be doing similar kinds of work in my career once I had graduated and I just considered that is that is that what I want to do and then I asked myself like okay if that's not what I want to do what do I want to do and answers for that came just so quickly I really love writing I, I do it almost every day although it doesn't get published but I, it definitely goes in my notebook uh, I love creative things and I I realized that I writing is, is a new is a new priority or a new uh, act that I re have recently picked up by recently I mean like the past four years or so and it it is so it, it came after my identity of being a mathematics student or a high achiever or whatever that was had already been established and so I hadn't there wasn't enough space for that other part of me the creative part the writing author whatever side almost was competing for such like a finite amount of resources because one of the things that I considered was that it takes energy to even sit me down in front of a computer and do uni work and you know that we have a, a finite amount of willpower and you know if I'm using what felt sometimes like 90% of my willpower in a day to just get myself down in front of the computer in the first place and I don't have didn't have that much um, energy to devote to the uni work itself and then and then I had nothing left for any other creative or social or relationship or whatever whatever the case may be and so yeah I at first I just kind of said well okay if that's the case then just swap the priorities put instead of maths writing we just have writing maths and just just reorganize that and then I did that and that kind of opened the floodgates a little bit and I eventually came to the conclusion that I just I just don't want don't want to do it anymore and I was a little bit insecure about that, you know, sunk costs and what felt like giving up and, you know, I didn't have that much longer to go with my degree and I thought maybe I could have just stuck it out, but that's not what felt like the right decision and I am trusting myself, even though it seems like it might not be you know, some people might think that it's not the right call, but from where I'm standing, it, it, it feels like the right one. So, yeah, that, that happened. <laughs> and really, since I've made that call, I've felt so much lighter. Like, yes, there, there are things that will need to change around this new, you know, kind of life that I'm going to start living um, and it's not going to be all tea and crumpets <laughs> but it definitely feels like I'm not forcing myself towards something now it feels like I can actually just listen to what it is that I want and and take it from there so yeah thanks for listening I suppose um, to me organize my thoughts um, and yeah, I, I, I would like to do this kind of thing more often. It's, it's a habit like everything else and maybe I'll make another video on it. Um, but yeah, thank you for listening. See you next time.